Hello, how you doing? My name is Jeff For you, first time seeing me, please subscribe to my channel. Today, I have so much to talk about. We're going to talk about King Tut. I'm going to tell you a story of what happened back in the days. If you want, pause this video a little bit so you could break out your soda or chips because we have so much to talk about, so much to learn. We're going to be traveling to Egypt. We'll start right now. Thank you. When King Tut artifacts came to the United States, there were people everywhere talking about it and it was the biggest talk of the year. I have special thanks to four friends of mine that took their time to Los Angeles uh, Discovery Center. Before I begin, a special thank you to Danielle, Marilyn, Manny, and Maria. The main person is Danielle, driving the heavy traffic located in Los Angeles. Four years ago, there was a sign for King Tut hanging every corner. Young teens would wear costume to idolize the king. America was eager to see the artifacts. Located at California Science Center in Los Angeles, why do people want to see King Tut? In the past, he was considered a living god. Followers would leave food such as delicious fruits or recipe at the statue. We will unveil the truth of how the lifestyle in Egypt there's another setup your family will enjoy upon entering. The museum has rocketed to encourage kids to become scientists. Historian fanatics took pictures of all the warfighter aircraft for the future memories. Today will be a memorable story ever told. Some names in the Pharaoh remains in the Bible. The Egypt and the Stagrat Laos borrowed their artifacts anymore. In order to see the artifacts, you have to go visit the Egypt, Cairo, were discovered with the King Tut's uh, burial ground. Don't look so sad. I have all the pictures. You witness it for yourself. And I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. From 1922 to early 1970s, the Egyptian would authorize Americans to borrow the priceless jewelry as exhibit at the museum. Four years ago was the last artifacts would ever travel. If any of the jewelry ever gets lost, Insurance company could never recover because the piece is priceless. When they built the Giza, they didn't know where they got all those tools and how they built it, really. And, you know, how did you ever ask yourself why they built those half man and half lion? What was the story behind it, really? You know, was there a mystery? 3,000 years ago, the ancient Egypt was the most powerful empire. The warriors developed the most advanced tools to build the pyramid and Sphinx Giza. The builder ensured no trespasser would enter by setting traps to kill anyone. The stairs walking up the sky was to symbolize going to heaven. An archaeologist is puzzled by the story behind the half man and half lion body statue. Some rocks are not available or unknown today. How did they build those pyramids? Did they have heavy equipment to create those non-destructive temple? What did the Egypt believe? Did they uh, have immortality or what were they thinking of to um, mummify all those dead bodies? Was there a reason behind it? Every culture has a different religion. 
Let's respect people's belief. According to Sawi Hawaj in Egypt, they invested time constructing an eternal monument. In the Middle East, they believe death has a continuation after life. A better place. Legends say a person dies no more violence against the, another country. As per understanding, burial rebelized the style to wrap the brain, liver, and other organs to preserve the body. The preserve is called mummy. The royal will be wearing priceless jewelry in a cemetery. Once reincarnated, they will be remembered from the past to the present. Back then, did they have a special tools how they created all those temples, all those pyramids? Because a lot of scientists are very uh, puzzled with the story of King Tut. Because really, they, in, they uh, created a dagger. They were wondering how they created those daggers because they were very sharp. And it seems like they had like all those technologies already. I mean, is, are we reinventing the wheels? What's going on? Dr. Alejandro Hernandez Cardenas developed a technique on how to recognize corpse called jacuzzi. The corpse would have lifelike image. This time they tried to restore the mummy of King Tut that was preserved over 3,300 years ago. How did the Egypt know to preserve the dead body? Could there be a possibility People in the past had to communicate with a UFO. Somewhere in the future, there will be a technology to reincarnate a person who has recalled the past. Let me ask you a question. A lot of people wants to be powerful, and uh, would you want to be a king of, of those times, of those ancient times? Would you want to be a king? I wouldn't want to be a king back in those times. I could tell you why. Ketu was the ruler of Egypt in 1332 BC. People portray him as living God. The official name was Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun was only nine years old when awarded to be the king of Egypt. The king wore black eyeliner to represent in ancient times to pre-arranged marriage for the king. The DNA was not associated with the outsiders. Tutankhamun was an incest. When he ruled the throne, the queen was a half-sister. King Tut had two children who died at birth. According to researcher, Tutankhamun had medical condition. The record shows he inherited extreme overbites, severe spine, disfigured foot, skewed face, and epilepsy. The scientists had theory Tutankhamun would walk limping. In the tomb, the researcher discovered over 100 canes. Canes had beautiful decorations that were made expensive jewelry. There were two possible ways the king died at the age of 19. The first one was hit with the object in the back of the head. The second, he fell off the chariot horses with sensitive bone on the leg and crack. He died of blood poisoning. When the king died, some tried to change the name of the belt label. Special thanks to Howard Carter dedicated his time digging the artifacts. History was revealed to the public. Scientists are puzzled with, uh, when they discover Nefertiti's uh, artifacts because back then the uh, cartoon wasn't invented yet. They made it into like a cartoon like and the head is always long. Ever wonder? And scientists couldn't answer that question. As of today, the scientist is finding new stories. Nicholas Reeve developed a photographic scanning to replicate the tomb. Compared to the other kings, King Tut had the smallest burial. Upon the investigation, computer replicated the tomb and they discovered two secret passageways that could lead to Nefertiti. Nefertiti was the wife of Akhenaten. Akhenaten was the father of King Tut. No one could explain Nefertiti had a long head. Would there be a possibility the head was decorated? If the head was a myth, why would they design it like that? The scientist is wondering if she's not from this world. On the wall, there was a drawing of the sun. If it is a sun, why is it giving command? Could there be a possibility of flying saucer? No one could understand if Egypt had communication with the outside world. People are discovering new theories each day.
thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great time like I did. Until next time, I'll see you again. And thank you again for joining me. You have a blessed day. Thank you.